Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. I know you guys want to go out there and catch a whole bunch of landlocked king salmon, but you've been struggling because they aren't very easy to catch. Um, you might be fishing at Lake Almanor where they've caught some real big, beautiful fish this year. You might be fishing at Lake Oroville where, you know, the good anglers, the knowledgeable guys, they're catching limits. Or maybe you're just fishing at Folsom Lake. That produces some monsters too. My top fish out of Folsom was 28 inches long. But the bottom line is, you'd like to be catching them consistently, but you're not. Well, today is your lucky day because I'm going to share with you my number one rig for leveling the playing field when it comes to hooking landlocked kings. And I've never seen anybody else use this rig, so get your notepad out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you something today, something useful. So what do I have? Well, first of all, I have a section uh, about 14, 15 inches long of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader material. Yeah, it's heavy line. I've got it tipped with two fairly large number four octopus hooks and I've got them uh, snelled real close together. So that's the business end, 20 pound fluorocarbon, two number four octopus hooks. In my pocket, dig around in here, I've got a six inch dodger. In this case, a sling blade, could be a silver horde blade, could be uh, any manufacturer's blade. It could be a Lord Jensen blade. Doesn't matter. You need a six inch dodger. You want a lot of kick, a lot of flash, a lot of motion. You want a six inch blade. Put that back in my pocket. Now, what am I going to put on those hooks? Am I going to put on a hoochie, gall, who knows? No, if you guys, guys been watching me long, you know I'm going with real bait. In this case, uh, tray bait anchovy, and what I've done so I've removed about half of his body in, in, you know, in terms of the filet, about half the length of his body. So I have a nice filet, shiny on that side, juicy meat on that side. Pretty simple from here on out. Here's what you want to do. The fat end. If you did that right, there's a fat end. There's a skinny end. Take the top hook on your leader, the one closest to the dodger, because you're going to run this behind that dodger, and go back maybe, oh, perhaps a quarter inch or less. About a hook gap, I guess. Never really thought about it like that. Go back about a hook gap and just pin that through from the meat side right up through the shiny side. And take the other hook, kind of figure out where it, where it wants to sit on that filet naturally. Pass it through the filet as well. So I think that's going to be real comfortable right about there. about there do the same thing pass it all the way through get it positioned like so so there we've got the fillet we've got both hooks in it doesn't really matter where the hook points lay none of that matters doesn't matter how straight that is doesn't matter if it's bent can be on there anyway Clip that on behind your dodger, right here. Let's open that snap up. Clip that on the back of your dodger, just like that. There's your dodger, there's your fillet, that's it. If you're using a sling blade, you have to put a little cup in that blade because what I want you to do, I want you to troll this from one to one and a half miles an hour. I want you to troll it really slow. Now you're going to have your downrigger down. You know, you might be down 60, 70, 80. You might be down 100 feet. Doesn't matter. Get that thing working. And, and you should just see that, that fillet. When you put it aside of the boat, that fillet should just be kind of pulsing behind that blade. If it's getting too much movement on it, lengthen that leader a little bit. I just want a little pulsing, very subtle action. All I, all I want is a juicy filet back there putting out a bunch of scent um, and when they come in they're gonna taste it it's real meat that's what we're looking for not a ton of action the Dodger's gonna draw them in we just want them to see that bait now here's what's gonna happen you're gonna have your gear down you know however deep 60 70 80 feet your rods gonna be loaded into downrigger and you're gonna see some of this action now, he might rip it off there probably not though you're gonna see this tap 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 Tap, tap, tap. He's tasting that filet. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, oh, oh, oh. You got him. That's what happens. 
once they get a taste of that filet, um, it's almost a guaranteed hookup. So that's it. It's super simple. It ain't sexy. It's effective. Heavy leader material, large octopus hooks, and a filet of tray bait anchovy. Super simple, super effective. Give it a try. You're going to like the results. It just flat out works. Anyway, this is Cal Kellogg. Get out there to Oroville or one of those other lakes I mentioned. Get that rig in the water. You're going to take home some king salmon. I guarantee it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, folks. Thanks for supporting the channel. We'll be back at you real soon. This is Kel Kellogg signing off.